Hi, thanks for joining today as I covered the best season to head to Branson, Missouri and all the wonderful things you can do there to keep you entertained and in awe of all the beauty it offers and all the fun you'll have. This video kicks off our latest playlist, which is titled Travel and Adventure. So stay tuned for upcoming videos of us traveling with our Airstream travel trailer and our five rescue dogs in the spring, summer, and fall. So to start us off, for those of you who don't know us, we are avid Branson tourists. My husband Mike and I have had a deep love for Branson that started when we headed out there on our honeymoon almost 15 years ago and we fell in love with the town and all it has to offer a vacation whether you have just time for a quick weekend getaway or a full long vacation. Some people do look at me a little strange when I say how much I loved a vacation in Branson. Sometimes I hear things like, isn't that where old people go? But in our many trips there, we almost go once a year and we drive the eight hours each time. But we see young and old alike. Branson offers so much for all age groups, as you'll see in this video. It also has a great mix of nostalgic Branson in the old downtown area and the tribe musical entertainment, Plus, there's new Branson with things like Branson Landing and many new attractions made just for tourists. We never get bored and we're never disappointed with all Branson has to offer us. So let's start with our opinion of the best season to visit Branson. We prefer to go in the very late winter or early spring. So for us, that's the end of February and up until the middle of April. Now, those of you that love Branson like we do, there are a few shows and restaurants that are not open until late March or early April. But with so many other options for food and entertainment, it has never stopped us. Plus, it is much less crowded in the off season. Those of you still doubting Branson as a popular vacation destination, it brings in seven to nine million visitors annually. Branson is definitely the place to be. If you plan to go more into the summer months, expect some crowds, shows being sold out quickly, and longer waits at restaurants, plus lots of traffic along the strip. And it, the strip is three different routes to the same Branson area. They're all in different colors. Let's say color coded them on different maps. It's just kind of a circle, three different circles that kind of interconnect. And that can get pretty congested along that strip. Plus, it gets pretty darn hot and humid in Branson in the summer. We went in August for our honeymoon and we played a round of golf in the 100 plus degree weather and it literally almost killed me. We joked that it would have been the shortest marriage in the history books, uh, but I did survive it and we did love it, but it's definitely hot. So what is it we love about Branson? Let me break it into some categories to make this a little easier. We'll first start with the beauty of Branson. It is nestled in the Ozark Mountains of Missouri, so the mountainous drive isn't for the faint of heart or for an older car in need of a brake job either. It's not necessarily dangerous, just lots of elevation, lots of runoff exits for those who, whose brakes can't handle it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. The views, the greenery, it's just breathtaking. We have almost always taken our RV for the trips to Branson, except for on our honeymoon and then this last trip that you're viewing. We went in late February 2024, and it was very cold in our home state of Wisconsin, so we didn't unwinterize our RV yet. Plus, it's in need of a couple repairs before we take her out on the road again. So stay tuned in April from some RV adventures in our Airstream travel trailer. We also just went for a quick last minute long weekend this trip to Branson. Right when we're truly just sick of the cold at the end of winter, it's a great escape where we know it will be an awesome time. We left a dreary 35 degrees in Wisconsin in exchange for 60 to 70 degrees and sun while we were in Branson. The weather is just what we needed. Early spring in Branson is perfect weather in my opinion. You have nature destinations like Table Rock Lake and Table Rock State Park, which is a huge lake with lots of water sports and fishing spots to try out. They also have lots of camping as well. You have just lots of trails and nature spots to explore in Branson and around Branson. A few of our favorites are White River Bald's natural area, which has grassy glades, streams, and hiking trails. And we visited Lakeside Forest Wilderness Area this trip. This hiking trail is right along or right off of the Branson Strip. And we just enjoyed hiking the different trails. Even though it wasn't super green because it was February, it was still really, really pretty to look and all the, the different mountains and water that you could see there. There's also Ruth and 
Paul Henning Conservation Nature Preserve. It's a scenic out- outlook where we took some photos while here, but the photos really don't do it justice. And there's also Sunset Park, which has Frisbee golf and also another walking path. So lots of fun to do outside. Our second favorite thing about Branson is the musical performances and other entertainment that you have there. If you like live music, you will love Branson. They have so many shows, night and day. Some are more like variety shows with some comedy or animals or even magic added in, plus just very talented musicians. We love so many of them, it's really hard to tell you our favorite, but the Presley's Country Jubilee is certainly at the top of our list. We have seen it at least five times, so something we've seen more than any other, and it never disappoints. It's funny, and the singers and musicians are top notch. You leave that place with a big smile and a toe tap that just won't stop. We also love the Hay Goods. They are a six sibling musical group. It's just beautifully done and very entertaining. The Irish tenors are also amazing, and we really enjoyed the Anthems of Rock, which is a tribute to lots of rock bands across all the various eras. This trip, we also branched out and saw a world-renowned illusionist and magician. His name is Reza. His show is called Reza Edge of Illusion Magic Show. I even got up on stage, but not because I volunteered. They threw a foam block around the audience and it landed on my lap. So up onto the stage I went. It was quite the experience. Unfortunately, they didn't allow photography, so there isn't any evidence of my main stage performance. I would highly recommend Reza. It was amazing. There's also a lights and sounds theater, which has performances unlike anything I've ever seen. They're typically Bible-based stories that are acted out on a massive stage with tons of music, lights, and effects that will blow your mind. It's a little pricier, but well worth it. Most shows in Branson offer a matinee plus an evening show around 5, 6, or 7 p.m., and some have later show options as well. Some shows include a lunch or dinner. There is a whodunit mystery dinner show, also a murder mystery dinner show, and the Dolly Parton Stampede has a lunch and dinner option. And there are several others as well. Our favorite dinner show, which also has a lunch option, is the showboat Branson Bell. It's a steamboat on Table Rock Lake with a fantastic meal, a musical performance following your meal, and then a gorgeous boat ride. Our next favorite category about Branson is the food. And this category may be a little controversial as Branson has an absolute ton of chain restaurants, but there are some really good chain restaurants. <laughs> they have Guy Fieri's Kitchen and Bar, Joe's Crab Shack, Cantina Laredo, which is one of my favorites, Longhorn Steakhouse, Red Lobster, Cheddar's, and recently they got a Mellow Mushroom. Just look at our food from there. We almost went back the next day. It was so good. Plus, you have all the regulars you'd find in tourist towns like fast food, steak and shake, Red Lobster, buffet style restaurants, etc. Some that you may enjoy that are specific to Branson are Mel's Hard Luck Diner, where your wait staff sings while you eat, and we took some pictures while there this late winter. It's super fun and very reasonably priced. We also love Billy Bob's Dairyland. It's like an old diner as well with great burgers, fries, and shakes. SS Dockside is well known for their fish options, so is Landry's Seafood House. Black Oak Grill has a really great menu. We just ran out of time to eat there, but it was on our list. (laughs) Farmhouse Restaurant is a classic and very good food, and they get great reviews. There are several barbecue places, Mexican restaurants, and Chinese restaurants as well. So it literally has everything you could ever want to eat from quick or cheap to fancy and elaborate. There's something for everyone. There's also lots of donut places, coffee shop, wineries, ice cream shops. We even saw a tea place that had cats advertised to be inside. We didn't go in there, but I thought it was a pretty cool concept. Last, I have my miscellaneous category, which is everything else we love. There's so much that I couldn't fit them all into the other categories. You're never bored because there's just so much to do. If you like to golf, there are many beautiful options. We love Thousand Hills Golf Course. That is our favorite, but there are so many to choose from. You can also do a lot of antique shopping or really all sorts of shopping. Branson Landing has more high-end type shops like Brighton, Bass Pro, Victoria's Secret. It's more of an outdoor mall, as you can see. And while the Strip and the downtown Branson area has more like trinket shops and craft stores, craft malls, antique shops, tourist 
shops, a five and dime, and then different candy shops. A huge draw in, is in front of Cantina Laredo's on Branson Landing, and you'll find a light show set to music that's made from the water that runs along the landing. It has shooting water, lights, and it's spectacular to watch as it's all choreographed to music, and it's free. It goes off at regular increments once it's dark outside, so check it out. Again, great for all ages. We also enjoy many of the wineries in Branson, just fun to taste the local flavors. Most are just along the strip, so they're storefronts versus the actual vineyards themselves. It's super fun. For family fun, you also have lots of choices, like Bigfoot Fun Park or Silver Dollar City. You can catch shows like Amazing Pets and Reza. Silver Dollar City is an exciting place to visit with many rides and daily shows. Silver Dollar City has more of a historical undertone. It's great for family with kids, but all ages would find something to love there. Branson also offers the Titanic Museum. There's a shipwrecked museum that we attended, as you can see here. It was free with some of our other shows that we paid for, but it was full of good history, and I think kids would have the most fun there. But we did see lots of older people there eating up the history and artifacts found from several shipwrecked vessels. There's also a butterfly palace and a rainforest. There's Branson's Promised Land Zoo, Wild World, and Fritz's Adventure. There's Wonderworks Amusement Park and the world's largest toy museum, plus a couple of Ripley's places as well. And then there's lots of mini golf spots, go-karts, roller coasters, all in the main Branson Strip as well. It's truly a kid's vacation destination if I've ever seen one. And if all else fails, there's tons of ice cream shops along the Branson Strip. I hope you enjoyed this content and that you make Branson one of your future vacation destinations. If you do, please leave me a comment below. Or for any questions, leave me a comment and I do respond to all of them. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.